Tommy, well, we just said off camera, the most unlikely thing you'll see at the F Stadium this year is a goalless draw, but we've just played it out there, haven't we? Thoughts after that one? Yeah, I thought there was, you know, it was a, it was a good encounter in terms of, you know, it was, a, it was an evenly distributed game mm. in, in spells, but I thought we dominated the second half to the point where we should have had our noses in front. We made, we made a couple of really good chances, and then it's their goalkeeper, he's got himself in the way. Um, by hook or by crook on occasions, mm. to be fair. but. Normally we would have preferred the back of the net with that, and then we have to be indebted to Jordy for the one of the last couple of minutes because they got through and he made a save with his legs. But I think over the over the whole uh, period, I think we probably just edged it. Mm. But we didn't get the ball in the goal. If you don't score, you can't win. But I, my big thing before the game, having missed Chesterfield myself, was we, you know, we'd just gone in the back of two games and conceded nine goals. So it's really important that we. Stop thinking we're just going to outscore people all the time. That that will dry up as today showed. One goal would have done us today, but we didn't manage it. But the fact that we didn't concede means we take something from the game, and that's a positive. Took nothing from both games last season, so already we're a point above where we were last year in that respect. But you know, we we've had a look at each other now. I'm sure Michael will feel the same, and um, we look forward to the the game over the over there, please. Exactly. We've not had to chase it back from a losing position. We we can look at it as a clean sheet. We can look at it as well. Maybe we created good chances but get kept out. So there are plenty of positives. Oh yeah, you, yeah, lots of positives. Like you said, we're on the back of two defeats, so we, we didn't lose. From first and foremost, we got into the habit. I've just had a chat with the lads. Some of the players are in a stage in their careers this season where they're in uncharted territory. Either it's the amount of games they've played, the number of minutes that they've played, certainly the high intensity and the high emotion that the games that they've played in. You know, there's probably eight or nine games this season that have. Been been quite extraordinary in terms of whether we've come back from uh, defeated positions or we've gone and beat teams that we've probably not seen that we we were going to beat but we did and obviously the FA Cup run so from from that point of view I'm really pleased where we are as a, as a football team um, I've just said to the lads you know for half a season they get a really good part on the back but that's it it's gone mm -hmm. and we've got to look forward both on and off the pitch and we've got to keep growing we can't just stand still because if you stand still you'll end up going that way and I don't want to do that um, and if that means one or two faces changing then that, that'll happen but that'll be discussions between me and the players um, but you know I've just told three or four lads there who are playing in positions probably a little foreign to them or it was a little foreign mm. to them when I first came to the club they're capable at this level and, and I believe in them um, and I just want them to show a little bit more belief sometimes in themselves but uh, yeah, I think we're in a really good place um, and like I said I'll take the point we'll move on to the next game 5,000 home supporters out there that, that must have been really nice Fantastic. to be there in front of that playing yeah, in front of that listen I mean we, I've said it before I've said it be programme notes the back end we've had since I've been at the football club has been outstanding and, you know it, we look like we've got real unity behind the, the football team no matter where you are in the ground if you're in red and blue you're supporting us and that's what we want um, I hope the lads and lasses who get their tickets to go to Woken will, will be in as good a voice as we were this afternoon and I, I hope for you we can get a goal or two for them at that end. Well that's it isn't it, it's essentially half time in, in, in a tie really isn't it because you know we've got to go to their place on New Year's Day so obviously Michael Doyle coming in fairly well recently, I guess you didn't really know how you, he was going to play too much, you won't be able to do your diligence as, as heavily as you normally do were you, so was that a bit of a surprise? Um, no I mean listen I think it's a shrewd appointment, he's a top lad, he's, a, he's an ultra professional person I know. I've worked with him, I've signed him as a footballer before um, and it's his first step into management as such but he's, he's very well versed in the coaching department so from that point of view he, I knew he would be well organised, well set up and knows what he wants, he, obviously he's only been in the building a couple of weeks so what he's done straight away in the two games he's been in charge has made them difficult to break down um, and their goalkeepers give him two clean sheets so you know it, it, He's obviously going to know that he's going to concede a goal and he's going to have to score, start scoring goals to pick more points up. But at this moment in time, I wouldn't swap places. And now we know a bit more about them, we can head into New Year's Day with a bit of confidence, can't we? Yeah, like I said, we've had a look at each other. It's a bit like you know boxers in the first couple of rounds, isn't it? You, you spar for a while and now you know what's coming. Um, like I said, I wouldn't change any of mine.